Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Data Weave. Now in this tutorial we are going to look at one more important topic. Not important though, it's kind of better that you know. It's the prepend append remove operator. I have not done anything out here such. It's prepend append and remove operator. So let's start with an example so that's clear for you guys what I'm saying. Now I have a key one and uh, say that it's uh, it's one i'm appending it to an array of two see here can you see that now one is getting appended to two now the symbol is this okay which means it's from left to right and there's another symbol which means that again from right to left okay right so it's right to left okay now, <clears throat> I've given this example as 1 and 2 rather than I'll say 76 and um, I'll say 109. Okay, so it's 76 and 109. Now, if I take this symbol, uh, sorry, take the same value, comma, and key 2, and if I do this, uh, something like this. Uh, see, it doesn't work out because we are saying that it's from right to left but here it doesn't accept see again the prepend and append operators we are working with arrays now if you are saying that from right to left which means that this left should have the an empty array to hold the data see you can pump any values to here let let me clear let me again tell you one thing see you are saying this symbol okay which means that send the data from here send the data from here to here okay if you have to send the data from here to here there should be an empty box to hold the data correct you can send any values x y z something like that to send all this information you need to have an empty box that empty box is nothing but an array since here there is no array that's the reason throwing is an error but here there is an array see that's the reason it doesn't throw any error now to do that if I say something like this and remove this, see 76 and 109. Okay, now even if I change this to symbol as 151, so it's 151 and 109. Okay, if I say 106, 106 and 109. Okay, 151. Now, can I do something like this? 111. No, you, you can't, you can't do that. There's a way of how you do it. So can I do something like this? 112. No, you can still cannot do that. So we will we'll see that later. Okay, we'll see this later. But this is the prepend and append operators. Okay. So let me take another example. So let me take key three. And if I do something like this, um, say A, I'll say Manju. I'll say this append to um say one see you, you hope you're seeing the right panel of the screen now if i say kaushik see you're getting it okay now i've kind of noted down this here now see here what is prepend this this is called as prepend prepend data on the left hand side okay of the operator it prepends the data prepends the data on the left hand side of the operator to the items in the array see in the array on the right hand side from left to right left to right for example that's the same example again if one two results is one comma two prepending one two two it's like prepend prepending one two two in the array okay now what is this append this is appending on the right hand side of the operator to the array in the array not object in the array to the left hand side for example if you say 1 comma 2 it results in 1 comma 2 appending appending 2 to 1 see appending 2 to 1 which means appending 2 to 1 and here prepending 1 to 2 prepending 1 to 2 okay now in the similar way you have plus and minus operators the name itself says that's here for example if you say 1 plus 2 it appends the data on the right hand side of the operator to the items in the array of the left hand side it's kind of a similar to this 
this guy itself but it's here the difference is that it is saying that appending the data on the right hand side of the operator to the items in the left hand side of the array this statement and this statement uh, sorry not this statement this statement and this statement it's kind of the same things here okay it's kind of the same thing and it results in appending see even this line also remains the same see okay that's the plus operator which means if i go back here and do something like this see uh, it's uh, which one is this this one this guy this symbol so if i do something like this plus see it's one and the same there is no difference there is no difference from any of those value okay now if you have k4 and if i say 154 plus 10 165 here that's that's the value you receive it okay and uh, with that in mind now there is another operator called remove it removes a specified element within an array from an array so let's see if that works I'm not try that okay key 5 let's see this if i say 154 minus 165 so there's nothing see it's just 165 so if i say 154 comma 187 and uh, say 234 okay see minus 165 it's fine it's 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 of no significance now if i say minus 187 see this i want to remove this guy and so I'll get minus 187 here. See what happens. See here? It's gone. That's the remove operator. That's the remove operator. Okay. Now you can also work on some other more examples on this. Um, say key 6. Um, say for example. A. No. Manju. Manju, comma, Kaushik, comma, location, and if I say, where can I, here it is, okay, let me get this guy over here, okay, minus, if I say, location, let us see if this works, see here, it's gone, and can I do something like this, yeah, you, see, if you do something like this, it's not removing it, see, yeah, it doesn't so you need to have like this so can i remove multiple things like like minus of minus of manju see <laughs> how cool is that okay and i can even remove see minus Koshik. it's gone it's completely gone okay and uh, okay i'll just leave it as it is i don't want to disturb this i okay and let me take key 7 can i do something like key 7 of 1 see if i say something like key 7 this is a key can i remove the key itself no it doesn't work out like this guys i mean, like i know this is quite uh, uh, interesting in, in case if you want to play around with the data view but see the mindset of a data view if you have no programming language on javascript or any functional programming language right i've seen students and I've, I've done it myself you experiments like crazy see minus location minus manju minus kaushik this is one experiment now you say oh wow this is this is crazy man if this is the case i'll multiply star 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 let us see what happens see these are some of kind of a crazy experiments that you guys do it or we do it but just there's nothing harm in that just don't expect too much to happen in the data wave okay um, you can still negate with the objects as well uh, say for example if you have something like uh, mm, okay say you have something like this okay and here I'm just trying to make up uh, just trying to think what else can I do okay here you have object a and here you have object b okay a and b 
comma here you have another object c and d okay here you have another object e and f okay now can i minus this minus um say something like c and d no i don't think i think there's some wrong with the syntax i believe maybe like this or i should have okay i should have given an object i'm sorry and here and there's another object now or if i do something like this let's see what happens okay there you go it's gone okay so as you can see here we have removed the c comma d and uh, this is just an operator precedence something got messed up in the operator precedence here c and d have been removed from the output array so this is how you play around with the prepend and the append operators okay and that's something that i wanted to bring it up in the video yeah that concludes this particular video in the next video we are going to look at one more important topic which is nothing but how to declare a variable and there are four there are operators which i want to talk about is do using and if else we'll talk about variables and if else in the next video so guys congratulations we are building a huge huge strong base in data view which is good and for some reason this guy has started to throw error no it has not started to throw in error it's good okay cool guys and uh, see you guys in the next video thank you